by the time I finish talking to you today, each of you will have lost around 18 neurons in your brains. Now, <laughs> losing neurons, it's, it's not a big deal, actually. It happens to all of us as we age. But we can't regenerate them. We can't get them back, right? Or at least that's what we used to think. Because now we know that actually there are two places in our brains where we can make more neurons. One is in the olfactory bulb, has to do with our sense of smell. And the other is in this amazing part of your brain called the hippocampus that stores all of your memories and everything that you learn. Now for my thesis, I asked just one question. And that question was, can people who have a rare genetic condition called Bardet Beetle Syndrome, where they have real difficulties with their learning and their memory, and they have really small hippocampi, can they improve their memory and the size of their hippocampus through one simple lifestyle intervention? So you might say, well, what kind of intervention can you do to uh, increase the size of your hippocampus and your memory? And paradoxically, we can take a clue from Alzheimer's disease. Because we know that in Alzheimer's disease, as people's memories shrivel up, so do their hippocampi. And we know that there is one thing that they can do to slow that decline, and that thing is physical exercise. In fact, physical exercise is so powerful that we know that even healthy people who exercise do better on average in cognitive tests than healthy people who don't exercise. So exercise makes you smart. Okay. And that brings us right back to my study. I, uh, I invited a group of uh, children with this rare genetic condition called Body Beetle Syndrome into Great Ormond Street Hospital. And we did an assessment where we looked at their memory, we tested their fitness, and we also did an MRI scan of the brain and looked at all the different structures, but in particular, the hippocampus. And then we divided them up into two groups, and some of them went away and worked really, really, really hard with a personal trainer to get super fit, and the others had their normal management. And after six months, we brought them all back again, and we did the assessment again to see if anything had changed. And the amazing thing was that when they came back, we found that those people who were fitter had better blood flow to their brain, they had trends towards better memory scores, and they had bigger hippocampi. So my take home message from today is twofold. One, you can improve the size of your hippocampus and your memory through exercise. And two, our genes are not our only destiny. So you may just have lost a couple of neurons in the last three minutes, but if you hit the gym, you may just get a few back. Mm -hmm.